Hi, my name is Emma, and you're watching Chicken Judge Vlogs. I'm sorry, Chicken Judge. I love Diesel more than you. Bye. Canadian Tire. I'm gonna go check out a few things in here. I think got some lawn chairs. Which we desperately need, as you just saw at the dump. Yeah. We we had five. I don't know whose were whose. When we moved in together, we had a collective five. And now we are down to two that still function. And they're not even that good. And they're not even good. No, they're like ghetto bottom of the barrel, like end of season Walmart. Last one's left. Walmart special. Yeah. yeah this store has everything you need pretty much and, on sale. and it's actually one of our stores too i don't think the americans have bought it yet <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if they own it they bought tim hortons they always buy everything their money is so tempting so we're gonna go to their seasonal section here and ooh, barbecues <laughs> we have a good one though yeah we'll look at this one <laughs> Never burn your food again. Flare-free technology. What's that mean? Uh, ours is better. But we don't have that. That's pretty cool. I'll come back to you later. Shh. You find them? Are they down here? No. We're going to need one of these. There you go. Two new end tables from our porch. We have two gray ones like this uh, in our screen room that we got this year. Yeah, they're really handy. They're just simple plastic, but I like them a lot. Yeah. Like so these will be for on the porch. So we have a place to put our coffee down when we're porch sitting in the morning. Exactly. For once. <laughs> yeah, so they got kitchen stuff. They got camping stuff. They got sports stuff outdoor stuff, they got tools and stuff, they got appliances and stuff. I don't know what to compare it to in the US. Or maybe you guys can shoot some suggestions in the comments. So this is the kind of chair I'd like to get because it's got a little table, right? It's very handy, very sturdy, and uh, save $22. It's still expensive for a chair, but... It is. I'd like to have two of these and two of the ones with the footrest. Well, here's a cheaper version of it. Actually, they're more expensive before the sale. This is, what's the difference between this and this? Just, oh, it's got like more padding, it's stronger. Interesting, so many options. I think we're gonna go with these ones here. So this, like, that's the backrest. I'm trying to figure out how to open this. So this, and then pull this up. Oh, pull this bar on this side here. Yeah. Oh, that's how you do side, it. Not the table. And we figured it out before we even bought it. Look at that. Before I even broke it. <laughs> there we go. It's got a nice little table here, cup holder. And it's a lot cozier than the one I'm sitting in right now. That's six dollars more, and doesn't have as fancy a table. These are on sale, twenty-two bucks off each, so save forty-four bucks. Yeah. Two of them good time of year to get things like this. The selection's limited, but hey, at least they have two in two different colors for us. Just sit and all that. Just hang out. Just hang like, out. Go buy a coffee. Drag one of their little like, portable fire pits over here. Start a little bonfire. <laughs> I think we'd probably be banned for life. <laughs> Our haul. I got a new travel bag for myself so that I can have everything that I need on the road in one bag. So much easier to get it in and out of the truck. And if I ever need a motel or anything, Everything's all in one bag, a lot easier, a lot more organized. And a couple of tables and stuff back there yet. Gotta make sure I don't wreck this thing. I only gotta lift that up first. I'm just doing this with one hand, that's why it's taking a little longer. There we go. And then put this down. There we go.
There she is. And there I was. Next stop, Penner Building Center. We're trying to build a, a flower garden, eight foot diameter flower garden around our flagpole. And we're trying to get ideas. So we're just shopping around and Brits. Off. I'm gonna get one of those in a few years. That would be nice. Oh, I like this. I just fall asleep in there though. That's the only problem. That'd be nice because then it doesn't rot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Foldable and it's foldable. By the time we get, we have kids. By the time we get kids. <laughs> by the time we have kids, I want a picnic table for a seed dinner event together. By the time the stork delivers. Yeah, exactly. It's been delayed. <laughs> She's been. Keep delayed blaming it on weather. Look at these barbecues. <laughs> that is two of ours. Just about one and a half. Well, maybe two. Yeah, you're right. It is two. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, six burners. Wow. Well, we got a quote. I think it's about three dollars and seventy-nine cents per brick, and mm -hmm. we just got to go onto their website and put into our. Uh, their system exactly what we're trying to do and then they'll tell us how many bricks we'll need yeah barkman Co concrete apparently has has a, a spot on their website that you can do that with yeah right here so. in town so it's all local all the bricks are made right here in steinbeck goes through eg penner we get to buy it right mm -hmm. from here in steinbeck and take it home and have our first piece of landscaping because mm -hmm. i finally got that bush out guys i don't know if you guys watched my video where i was digging up everything but I said that I was gonna wait for Josh to get out the bush and finally one day I couldn't stand looking at it anymore. So I took an hour and a lot of rage inside and a really sharp shovel and I just started beating it until I got all the roots out. <laughs> it she was did, pretty intense. She did a really good job. I'll have to show you again when we get home. <laughs> Even Josh wasn't sure how he was gonna approach it and how he was gonna get it done, but just took a little bit of anger. and so determined wife. Stay out of her way when she's angry. I'm a really good shot too. What I get out of this, yeah. Just don't make her angry. <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna hide behind the couch here. We're gonna hide back here. They won't see us, they're just gonna go flying past. Oh, oh, he found me. Hey, Frank. See you later. Here they come, here they come. There goes Levo. <laughs> Hey buddy, you found me. <laughs> hey Chef. Always nice to come home to such a nice welcome. Good boys, good boys. I finally remembered to pick up some WD-40. I needed this in the truck for so long. I have one in there, but it's just about empty and I've been just milking it. That's gonna come in very handy. So, you know, we ran around town today, did a whole bunch of errands. Uh, sort of got split up between yesterday's video and today's video. We went and took the garbage into town, got rid of that old washing machine. After that, we went to, uh, where did we go after that? Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire. We also had to deal with our insurance a little bit, just to make sure my driver's license remains valid. It's kind of important most days. And, uh, uh, forgetting what we, we went to uh, EG Penner and we did find, uh, like, like I was telling you before, we found the, the, the bricks I think that we're going to use or the, the price for the bricks, but, uh, we're having a little problem with their website. Remember they said to go to their website and, uh, we'll be able to figure it out from there. And apparently on their website, uh, what were you saying? They only have templates for square? Well, yeah, for straight lines, so. Which is frustrating, because we specifically went in there because we told them we want to make a perfectly circle, eight foot diameter flower bed around our flagpole. Yeah. And nobody knows how to do that properly, apparently, so we're just gonna have to wing it and do it ourselves. Or I'll call Barkman Concrete tomorrow or the day after and see if someone can help me out. That's right, you were gonna do that. See if we can actually get some help because we don't want it to be an oval or a bad circle. We want it to be a perfect circle and we want all the bricks to line up just perfect, which means that there's got to be some math involved because the bricks have got to be cut just right so that they form a perfect circle about eight feet in diameter. And then we got to go and get the plastic, uh, what do you call that again? The weed guard? Weed barrier? Weed barrier, yeah. 
put this. We've got to dig it down, put the weed barrier down, put topsoil on top of that, and make a perfect circle around it and make it all level and nice. And it's going to be our first landscaping project. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Diesel's going to help us, right? Right? We'll look at the little tail wag. Yep. Diesel. You going to help mom and dad? <laughs> Chevy. <Yeah. laughs> Pops his head up. What? I can be helpful too. Yeah, you'll dance around us with sticks. Yeah. I am a great branch manager, just saying. Diesel's my assistant branch manager. Is that true, Diesel? He's my assistant. Yeah, I thought he was your assistant. He lets him dream from time to time. <laughs> so we're going to sit back, relax. Uh, I've got my vlogs being edited and rendered and uploaded here. And tomorrow I hit the road again. Tomorrow I'm headed down towards the Chicago area. I've got to deliver a load or a, like a big fuel tank that's going to go into a Love's Travel Plaza, I think. i got to double check that. Uh, it's being delivered uh, between Milwaukee and Chicago. So it'll be a little bit more than a day's drive. should be fun. And then I'll probably get a reload and be back here because I'm delivering that Thursday. So I'm guessing I'll probably be back here Saturday night or Sunday morning. Depending on where the reload's going, right? So thanks for watching today. A little bit of home time. Tomorrow we'll be back on the road. I'll see you then. My name is Leander Fair. I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay, South America. And you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel. <laughs> <laughs>